Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Glad to have you guys back here. My name is Sabouts and we're going to have a lot of fun trying to survive uh, in the apocalypse. I've got a scenario um, that you guys have given me or at least one of you guys. Uh, back uh, in my last series at the end of it, I asked people for suggestions on uh, what I should do if any, anybody had any scenarios, any, any particular settings. And somebody stepped forward. Uh, he goes uh, by the name of uh, Francis in the comment section. And he actually proposed a pretty cool scenario. So essentially, I am President Sabouts uh, of the United States. I had done eight years as president. And now, um, as my last uh, act before I become a civilian again, I'm going to go check out a special project that I had signed into executive order, uh, basically to create, uh, use a uh, mutagen serum to create uh, super soldiers for our military. And I'm on my way to the lab when essentially, uh, and I've altered the scenario a little bit, but essentially uh, on my way to the lab and a uh, radio broadcast comes over announcing an attack on the city and before I know it my security detail is hauling me off to the nearest shelter they hold me up in it and they basically tell me not to leave that was about six months ago I haven't really heard much um, I've uh, survived off the resources inside the shelter and now I've got to venture out find supplies and figure out what's going on um, I do know about the zombies. I do know about the attacks uh, that happened through broadcasts that came in, uh, through uh, certain uh, forms of uh, radio communication I've had between uh, me inside the bunker and the outside world. But those uh, conversations had ended over time, and now I haven't heard from anybody in a long time. So basically how this works uh, for the scenario, I know... The nuclear launch codes and my goal is to find a missile silo and a lab the lab I was originally traveling to so if I can find a lab and then I can find a missile silo I can launch the missile and destroy the lab and that's sort of how I can beat the scenario if I die game over and we lose so that's kind of uh, where we stand um, the person who gave me the scenario did leave it up to me to kind of alter it as I see fit. So I've changed a few things here and there just uh, for the particular scenario. But that's uh, that's how we've got uh, that's how we've got it. So let's uh, go ahead and create our world. I was originally going to make it myself, but I decided to do it with you guys because it's a pretty quick process. And I I know that uh, last time I jumped into a game without setting everything up so you guys could see it. Uh, people got upset because they wanted to see what settings I had gone with. So here we go. Uh, here is all the mods I'm going to go with. I went ahead and did pick those so you can see them all. Um, nothing that changes the game drastically. Uh, all just basically uh, things that that um, either fix some stuff or they add more stuff to the game. Now going into the world gen options, I'm going to keep this uh, all the same for the most part. I don't see any reason to change any of that. Now, I do want to turn Wander Spawns on. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on Static NPCs. I'm going to keep random NPCs off because I played a few games by myself with random NPCs on and I kept getting shot in the face. So I'm just going to leave it off for now because I, um, I really don't want to get shot in the face. And then for our actual world name, we're going to go with America because that's just where we are. And we're going to finish the world. Now let's go ahead and go to our character. Now I did already preset the character up. That's because we can um, actually look at the character stats. So let's have a peek. And here we are. So we're going to be President Sabouts. And down below you can see um, all the stats I took. So we are doing this sheltered scenario that's going to put us up in an, uh, an uh, LMOE shelter. So we're going to stay there. We are running low on supplies though, so we got to leave the shelter and go gather supplies however I see fit. 
Um, our profession is just going to be the basic survivor, starting off with no skills, but for traits, you can see we've got a whole bunch of them. Um, I didn't really pick anything too crazy. I just went off of um, just some of the better ones, uh, just anything to kind of keep me alive because this will be a tough scenario. And then stats, you can see there is what I picked. So let's uh, begin. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. <clears throat> not waste any time so we do got a character we start off here he's one of my security detail guys he stayed back with me but he's my uh, he's the only one that's alive that i know of let's go down real quick and do a quick inventory check before we look at the map and make sure we spawned with some halfway decent stuff now because of the um nature of this scenario that we're starting with inside the shelter this isn't like your basic shelter which is loaded with supplies this one's actually pretty barren because we've already used up a lot of it so we got a little bit of ammo, but we didn't get lucky. We uh, didn't get lucky and get a gun or anything. Hopefully we at least get some food. Boy, a box of flour, some vegetable soup, okay. Condensed milk, that's all right. One of these scenarios, I got a military rucksack and it was pretty awesome, but I don't think I'll get that this time. Outdoor survival guide. Pliers. Oh, we did get a purse, so we are going to go ahead and wear that. What is this though? Aspirin, okay. So I didn't start off with that last time. That's not bad. Okay, nothing here, but we do have a stick and a computer world book and a drama novel. We could burn the drama, drama novel. Okay, nothing in here. Any crafting stuff or anything? No. So this is actually probably like one of the worst ones I've gotten so far, but we did get a couple heavy sticks for burning, which does me really no good, but we could make a weapon out of them. Let's go now that we know what the starting scenario looks like. Let's go have a look at the map and see where we actually are. So, wow, oh boy, this is the worst one I've had. Hazardous waste sarcophagus, no way. A strange temple, are you kidding me? Wow, interesting. Very, very interesting. Slime pit to the north and a lot of swamps. This is quite the start, really. Hazardous waste sarcophagus right next to us. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this start because it's just so unique. Boy. All right. And for those of you that might not be familiar, you start the scenario off in the dead of winter, which is uh, probably the worst, but that's how it goes. So, we are going to somewhat try to survive out of the shelter for a bit because um, honestly, it's way too cold and dangerous to go running around just yet. We do need to wait till it gets a little bit warmer. Outside it is lightning storm. Okay, it's raining actually, so surprisingly the temperature is pretty good out here. We're going to talk to our friend here in a second, but I just grabbed a couple heavy sticks so we'll have it for crafting and whatnot now what kind of weapon do we want to make we need to get something right usually nail boards always a good one um you could go with pointy stick it's really not that great pierce a um actually it's not bad but nail board that bash Actually, the makeshift crowbar is really good. I mean, it's not really good, but it's not bad. Why don't we try to get a makeshift crowbar? We've got the supplies down here, so there's no reason we can't do that. We need a rock. I need to smash one of these cabinets. Actually, if I get the rock, it'll be a lot easier to smash, so that makes sense. Okay, give me a rock. Okay, there's a newspaper page. Okay, there's our, there's our rock. Now, hopefully we don't find a Mego. Because last time I did this playthrough, um, that's a boulder. Where was the rock? Oh, right there. Um, I've done this scenario by myself a few times just to kind of get used to it. And, like, every single time I've done it, there's been Migos everywhere and they just slaughter me. Like, it's bad. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, so we got the rock. That gives us a little bit of hammering. We can go ahead and uh, and actually wield the rock and smash this. There we go. Why don't we smash that while we're at it? Pick up the pipe. We'll just smash that just simply to have some extra stuff. And then we're going to get this fire going. We should have started with a matchbook, which we did. We don't have a whole lot, though. Makeshift crowbar. And then we'll wield the makeshift crowbar and drop the rock right there. Okay, so now we've got the crowbar. Um, and that's pretty much it. We'll go up and have a chat here with our fellow compadre. I'm short of breath. Uh, what's the matter? I'm asthmatic. I need you to get an inhaler for me. Okay, uh, we can do it. Um, oh, thank God. Thank you so much. I won't last more than a couple of days, so hurry. Um, let's see if we can get some equipment. Why should I share my equipment with you? Um, persuade because I'm your friend. Well, I'm I am helping you out. It says we're gonna have a hundred percent, so we'll say that. Gives you a lighter. Hey, that's better than nothing. Okay, here you go. We could ask for more, but I'm not gonna push our luck, so we'll just say thank you. Okay, so I'll be back soon. Could convince him to go with me, but we did get the lighter. How many charges? 60 so I was just saying that we got to be careful with the matchbook and we actually got a lighter so that that worked out well Now we definitely don't want to go anywhere near the hazardous waste sarcophagus. I'm not trying to die anytime soon That's gonna have to be for later other than that. I don't see like any way to get into a town Um, Our temperature is falling, but we'll be able to light bushes uh, on fire if we need to uh, Chances are we'll just keep the shelter as our home for a bit. Okay, a zombear, so that's a no go. I don't really want to go. Boy, this is a rough start. There's like no good way to go. We're very cold. Okay, let's go warm up for a second. Now, there wasn't any blanket, was there? Sometimes you start with a blanket. And you can, you know, you could put it on or something, but there's not. Uh, we won't be able to craft anything till we find any clothing till we find uh, some tailor stuff. But we can make a pair of sock mitts out of her sock and we're gonna do that. Put our socks on our hands essentially, but that'll keep our hands a little warmer. Okay, our head's a little cold. If we wait here, we'll warm up right here. Go down by the fire and let it warm up real quick. Okay. Oh, does it get back cold if I... Okay. Okay, it does. Yeah, so the, the shelter in general is cold. Alright, well, we'll be able to light stuff on fire um, in the forest and whatnot to keep us warm. We got to get to that road. So I say we go ahead and make an early push right now. It's bright outside, so the temperature is as high as it's going to pretty much get. The sun should be coming out soon as well as we get more into the day oh it's chilly now chilly right hand you gotta be careful though because you can light the whole forest on fire if you're not careful i've done it but if there was a place to start a fire it'd be by the swamp But we want to get to the road and see if we can at least find a vehicle that we can hold up in. I think the vehicle will help with the wind. It just won't help with... Ah, uh, yes. 
S. Oh, I'm bleeding. Um, we are going to have to cauterize it. Unfortunately, it's going to hurt like hell. I got a lucky hit on me if I'm bleeding already. Yeah, we got some bone. That could be useful. And a little bit of meat. I imagine we're going to survive off of animals for a bit until we are able to explore more. But other than that, we're actually pretty good. Take a little bit of aspirin. So I do have some meat now. But I really would like to get at least to the road. I did turn on autosave. You can see it coming in there. So I won't really be able to cheat. Which is fine because I wouldn't anyways. But now you guys definitely know. But on top of that, I turned the autosave on because last uh, last series I did, I didn't have autosave on. And I ended up losing a lot of stuff because the game got corrupted. My file got corrupted. Got to be careful with packs of dogs. They normally will leave you alone, but sometimes they get a little uh, rambunctious and they think they're going to take you on. Okay, we're a little cold, so why don't we go ahead and light the tree on fire? fire that'll warm us up we'll just kind of sit here until we get a little warmer wait till our hands aren't as cold and you can see that the sun's starting to come up so the temperature is rising it's chilly right now I'm looking at all that uh, at all of that up in the top right corner there you can see chilly rising and you can see winter day one and the sun is coming up. But standing by this is just kind of making sure I stay a little warm. And then we'll hit the road again. I may not make it back to the shelter by night. I might have to find something to stay up in. Hold up in. Alright, hands are cold again, but the only place we're going to find gloves is a town. Good gloves, that is. Or at least a tailor kit somewhere is. What's that over there? Just some more swamp, I guess. Ooh, Grim Holler. Okay, he's down here. We can fight him. Oh, whoa, we can't fight all three of them though, right? That's what I see, three of them. They travel in a pack. Yep, okay, we don't want to fight three of them. Oh, but we can't really go north towards the waste sarcophagus, so I guess we're going back into the woods. Yep, I do not want to fight three of those. I will fight a zombie dog, though. I'm okay with a zombie dog. But we're going to take the long way around. What is that? Is that a minefield? Chunk of steel, scrap metal, pipe, heavy stip, military black bots. It's a helicopter crash site. Wire, pipe, scrap metal, chunk of steel. So there's some crafting stuff here. Um, sometimes there's military gear. If you look around, but sometimes you have to dig to find military gear. There is a black box. It does us no good. I don't think I can craft a shovel yet. Um, and I wouldn't even know what that would fall under. Other makeshift hammer. Stone hammer. Let's see, it'd be tools. A crack pipe, a stone hammer, makeshift stone knife, bone skewer, improvised lock pit. So, as far as I could tell, no. Boy, I'm bummed out. I really wish I could craft a. Shovel because you probably could get some good stuff out of that. Let me I mean maybe not, but it's possible. Let me make a note So 
So that way we know to come back here and check it out in the future. Sometimes in the woods too, you can find you can find uh, crates, military like airdrop crates, and they have like some pretty good stuff in it. Now uh, you can see that the temperature's ri risen enough that uh, we're not. Oh. To say we're not cold anymore. That's an antlered horror. We're probably dead, but we're gonna give it a shot. Because those are probably one of the worst creatures in the game, and I almost forgot I can run, so I could probably outrun him, especially through this wreckage if he decides to go through the wreckage, which he did. Ah, no. Sometimes, you know, you can't avoid those things. You bump into them, you know, they come right around a tree. What do you do? At this point, I'd much rather take my chances with the Grim Howler. Okay, let's turn our walk off. I think we're okay. We did manage to get away. That was close, though. Completely forgot about the run. That could have been the death of me. I got some water, but I didn't bring any food, but I can cook that meat up, so we're going to be okay. Okay, we're going to go through this way then. I do see something off in the distance here. Let's have a peek. Okay, what is this? I'm not really sure what's going on. Wriggling jelly. This malleable blob is constantly wriggling. Wriggling? Not, is it wiggling or wriggling? It's wriggling. If only you had a shovel. What is it? There's four of them. Okay, we lost three dexterity. If I drop it, do I get it back? Yes, I do. Okay, we lose three dexterity if we pick it up again. Okay, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll keep it with us. Wow, that's weird. This whole area. Well, we'll keep it with us, and if we uh, need to drop it to get the dexterity back, we will. Oh, hey, there's a tough zombie. That's a good sign, right? It's odd though, why would there be a tough zombie in the middle of nowhere, essentially? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here. Okay, well let's fight this tough zombie. There's nowhere's really to get him on. Is this a bush right here? It's a dandelion, so that ain't gonna work. I wanna get him on something. It's a shrub, that might slow him down a little bit. Maybe not though. Ah, jeez, he's really beating up on us. Come on, get him. There we go. Holy crap. Talk about just bad luck. Pocket knife, activate, cauterize our head again. We're in a lot of pain now. He did drop a BB gun. Let's butcher him. Take another aspirin, I guess. Okay, now we're uh, we're kind of hurt, but I really wanted to kill... I would have normally have not have gone for that, but I really wanted to kill him simply because it looks like there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, a baseball helmet. We're definitely going to put that on. That'll protect our head so we don't have this issue anymore. There's plenty of stuff here worth grabbing and wearing. A sports jersey, basketball. What the heck was this? Like a, like a basketball thing? Going on? What was going on out here? Like a sports event? Baseball is actually, if you got your throwing up, probably would be pretty damaging. A pair of near knee pads is definitely worth wearing. A pair of boots. It doesn't fit though a radio I just want to take the batteries out of it I don't really care about the radio I guess I could take it apart you know what? I'll keep it with me 
Unless, how much inventory space do I got? Carry a lot of weight, but not a whole lot of inventory space. But a baseball bat, now that's a find. Because that's going to make an awesome weapon, especially if I turn it into a nail bat. It's already got a basha 19, so we're going to wield the baseball bat and store the makeshift crowbar. Like Jack, I should be wearing winter stuff right now. I got a long sleeve shirt, pair of winter boots, a winter coat, a knit scarf. I just need gloves, which I don't think I'm going to find here. This is probably a sports drink. It is based off of everything we're finding. How are we, by the way? Glare and pain. Okay. Pair of rollerblades. Actually, Make it hard to move on rough terrain or to dodge effectively, but they're very fast on flat four, so for roads, they'd actually be pretty quick, right? I've never used rollerblades before, to be honest with you. I didn't find gloves. That's something I would probably have to make myself. Well, we're in a lot of pain, so I think the best thing to do would be to head back to the shelter. Oh, well, it's way far away, and we're out of time, so <laughs> I didn't realize how far we'd gone over. All right, so that's the first, uh, that's our first episode there. Uh, not too shabby. We managed to make it all the way down here, find some wriggling jelly, which I don't know what it does, and I'm not sure I want to know what it does. I imagine it's some type of artifact. We got four of them, so I guess I could just eat one and find out, but, um, maybe we'll save that for in the future. But, uh, yeah, a little bit damaged here, but other than that, well worth it to get uh, some of the supplies we got. Now we got the baseball bat, which will be pretty good because we could turn it into a nail bat. And then we've got some food to bring back and cook up. So, um, not, not too shabby, like I said. Uh, we'll try to, uh, maybe explore off in another direction a little bit since we kind of, um... We don't have to really find anything too crazy just yet. We'll be just surviving winter in the shelter for the most part. Most of the exploring will happen once we get the gear to be able to do that. However, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.